Team, thanks for being part of the Not My Squad workshop. Let me cut to the chase. This is not another SHARP program, this is not a chain teach, and this is not death by PowerPoint. Not My Squad is a grassroots initiative focused on building mutual trust and cohesion at the squad and team level. That means over the next few days, we're going to find out what issues you have and help you figure out how you can either solve them at your level or brief them to someone with the power to solve them. The other great thing about the workshop is that it provides leaders an opportunity to learn best practices from watching each other. So make sure you're watching and listening to your peers. They may have already dealt with something that you're dealing with, and you can help each other. The highest performing squads are those that are built upon trust. Trust in their leaders and trust in one another. This is the essential element of Not In My Squad. The initiative empowers squad leaders to build mutual trust and cohesion from the bottom up by leading, training, enforcing standards, and modeling the Army ethic for their squad. I got this idea when I was listening to a group of West Point cadets taking responsibility for their own behavior and upholding the Army ethic on and off duty. While it was a sharp issue they were focused on, Not My Squad isn't focused on sharp or any other specific problem. It's focused on building squad environments where everyone shares ownership for the character, competence, and commitment of the team. Here's a fact. I, as a Sergeant Major of the Army, have no more authority than you do as a squad leader. Yes, I make decisions that might be bigger than the ones you make on an average day, but when it comes to affecting the Army on a cellular level, squad leaders are in a position to have an immediate impact on their soldiers by modeling the Army ethic. Squad leaders spend more time with their soldiers than any other person in the chain of command. Your soldiers want to make a difference. They look to their squad leaders as role models. They want to be like you. And we already know that cohesive teams built upon mutual trust self-regulate and rarely experience acts of indiscipline. When they do, however, we need squad leaders to respond to indiscipline appropriately so the team grows stronger from the experience. Starting from the bottom up, we can build positive climates across the Army that support an Army culture focused on accomplishing the mission in the right way. What we want to achieve through this and other workshops is to give junior leaders a voice in how the Army runs and allow squad leaders to share the ways they create and expand positive unit environments for the betterment of the entire Army. Thanks for this first step in being part of this initiative. Be an active participant. You will get out of the workshop what you put into it. We are listening to you. The Army is relooking at how we do business in areas like tape test, MOS physical standards, and drill sergeants at AIT, partly due to your peers' feedback and NIM workshops just like this. What part of the Army will you influence this week? Have a great time. And if you have any questions or concerns, please send me an email.